Hello, I'm Matt, welcome to Badger Workshop. My local pub has asked me to make a holder to go on the bar to store menus in. So, let's get started. The menu holder would need to hold four different menus, two A4 size and two A5 size. The design I came up with would have two solid ends and then a divider in the middle. So I made a template and then started cutting these out. I wanted to cut a rebate for some plywood to go into, so I set the blade just slightly over the thickness of the ply. Then I could cut the channel on the table saw, moving the fence over until I widened the groove to the correct thickness. I did this before cutting out all the curves, so I thought it would be easier to put the wood against the fence if it was all square. When I had all three pieces cut out, I could clamp them in the vise together and then sand them all at the same time so they're all even. I applied some brown wax finish to these. Easier to do it now before it all gets put together. I used some 5mm plywood for the front and the backs and for the slip inside. The sliding carriage on my table saw makes it so much easier cutting down large panels like this. Another great eBay find. I painted all the panels with chalkboard paint. One reason it looked nice contrasted with the wood, but also it means you can use a chalk pen to write on it what the menus are. While the paint was drying, I decided to make the base for it. Originally I wasn't planning to have one, but then I was worried it wouldn't be stable enough. So I'd cut a bit of wood slightly bigger than the holder, and then routed a nice profile on it. I also gave the base a coat of wax. The front and the back panels just get held in place with a bead of glue and some brad nails. When all the bits are in place this will be plenty strong enough, even with the heavy use it gets in the pub. I drilled some holes in the base and then it could get attached to the uprights from the bottom. I had it on its side, I attached some felt feet to stop it scratching the bar top. The last two panels just go into the grooves I cut. As you can see, the first one was a slightly tight fit, as the other one went in no problem. That's it all done. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe for more videos.